Hello, Xterra friends. My name is Adriana Naomi, and I am thrilled to be here with you again today for another vinyasa-inspired flow, exploring the low-flying arm balance, which is Ekapada Kundanyasana 1. We're going to work on building arm and shoulder strength, as well as getting into our obliques, lengthening and stretching the back line of our legs, and accessing our outer hip muscles. To begin, find your comfortable space and meet me in recline bound angle. Come lay down on your back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Open your knees out wide. Soften your hands. On your body, connect your hands to your body to ground down. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Expand your belly. Lift your ribs. Take your breath all the way up to the top of your chest. Open mouth. Exhale. Ha. Ah. Seal your lips. Inhale through your nose. Call in your ujjayi pranayam. Exhale out of your nose. Start creating the cadence of breath, this rhythmic breath, which is also audible. Inhale through your nose. Tone the muscles in your throat. Exhale out of your nose. Take one more breath in. Exhale, recline crow pose. Bring your big toes together. Bend your knees. So bend your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Hug your arm bones in as they stay in place and bent. Squeeze your inner thighs. Draw your heels in towards your glutes. Take one more breath in. Exhale, reclined side crow. Bring your thighs together. You're going to draw your knees towards the right side of your mat. Place your right tricep on top of your outer left thigh. And keep your left elbow parallel to your right. Flex your wrist. Deep breath in. Exhale, reclined ekapada kundanyasana one. Send your left leg across your body. Draw your belly button in. Pull your shoulders off of your mat. Separate your shoulder blades apart. Lengthen your right leg in front of you. Take a breath. And exhale, recline side crow. Hug your inner thighs in. Breath in. Exhale, knees to chest. Soften the back of your skull onto your mat. We're going to do it again the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale, recline crow pose. Bring your big toes together. Rebend your arm bones. Flex your wrists. Hover your shoulders. Plug your belly button in. Deep breath. Exhale, recline side crow. Draw your knees towards the left side of your space. You're going to glue your left tricep at your outer right thigh. Parallel your right elbow to your left elbow. Breath in. Exhale. Reclined Ekapada Kundinyasana. Extend your right leg, cross it over your body. Send your left leg forward, belly button in, breath in. Exhale, recline side crow and slowly come knees to chest, soften down through your spine. Take a breath in and a breath out. Ooh. Inhale and exhale. Roll all the way forward. Come to a tabletop stance. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hip tips over your knees. Spread your fingers wide. Take a deep breath in. Cow pose. Arc your spine. Gaze forward. Press through the tops of your feet. Open through your collarbone. Breath in. Exhale. Cat round your back. Press the back of your heart towards your sky, towards the ceiling. Breath in. Tabletop. Exhale, bird dog. Reach your right leg back. Extend your left leg forward. Now bend your right knee. Grab for your right foot. Breath in. Kick your foot into your hand. Yes. Arc your spine like we just did in cow. Opening the front line of your body. Take a breath in. Exhale. You're going to soften your right thigh behind your left. We're going to meet in cow face. Go Mukhasana. Have your left knee over your right. Root down through your sit bones. Breath in. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale. Goal post your elbows. Then draw your elbows together with your forearms in front of you. Keep your elbows tucked in. Breath in. Exhale. Separate the top of your arms, creating a V-shape with your <laughs> with your hands. It's a little bit of a trap strengthening exercise. Inhale, draw your arms together. Exhale, separate them apart. <sighs> Breath in, draw your arms in. Exhale, separate them apart. One more time. Take a deep breath in, arms together. Exhale, V shape with your arms. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, tabletop. Let's meet right back where we started. Take your breath into ground down. Exhale, bird dog on the other side. Reach your right arm forward and your left leg back. Bend your left knee. Grab for your foot. Breath in. Kick up, 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 up. Squeeze into your glutes. 
open through your chest, breath in. And exhale, bring your left thigh behind your right. Again, we sit in cow face. So have your right knee this time over your left, parallel your feet, they're in the same line. Breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, go post your arm bones. Breath in, bring your arms together. Exhale, separate your pinkies apart. Let's do it two more times. Breath in, bring them together. Exhale, open, create a V-shape with your arms. Breath in together. Breath out, spread them apart. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, tabletop. Just quickly, beginning of class, starting to strengthen your core. Ground down and activate through your trap muscles. Find the steadiness of your tabletop. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pike your hips up and back. Find a gentle pedal through your feet. And then meet in stillness and your gaze at the space between your feet. Deep breath in, three-legged dog. Reach your right leg up. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. You're going to open your right leg towards the right side of the, your space. Press your right heel up. Keep your shoulders squared. Squeeze your right glute. Breath to movement. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. One last time. Breath in, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. Breath in, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Send your left leg up. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. Open your left leg. Press your left heel up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Stay even by pressing into your hands. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. One last time. Breath in, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged dog circumduction. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, gorilla pose. Walk your feet to the middle of your mat. Open your feet to hips distance. Bend your knees. Glide your palms under the soles of your feet. Let go of your neck. Let go of your head. And find an easy, a steady stance. As you start playing, shift your weight forward onto your toes. Meet your wrists in flexion, giving your wrists a little bit of tender, loving care. As we're going to be doing a lot on our hands today for our arm balance. Take a breath in. Exhale, release your hands, heel toe, your feet in. Bend a little deeper into your knees, plug your chin into your chest. Take a deep breath in and slowly roll yourself up. Take your time, lengthen the back of your legs. Come to stack your shoulders over your hips. Once you make it to the top, breath in, roll your shoulders up. Exhale, soften them back and down. One more time, breath in, roll your shoulders up. Exhale, release, back and down. So getting into our standing portion of our sequence, just a few sun salutations to warm up our body. Breath in, mountain pose, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, draw your hands down through your heart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank, and roll yourself all the way down to your mat. Keep your hands under your shoulders. Zipper your legs in. Inhale, low cobra. Float your hands off of your mat. Draw your triceps and your shoulder blades in. Tuck your chin towards your chest to lengthen the back of your neck. Breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale through high plank or tabletop, press your body up. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mudra Svanasana. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, journey to the top of your space. Breath in, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, draw your hands to the center of your body. Breath in, halfway lift a little different. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Pin your elbows to the sides of your body. Breath in, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Let's keep on building. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees and your sit bones low. Reach your arms overhead. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Draw your navel back and in. Place a little bit more weight into your heels. Inhale. Exhale, chair pose with open arm twist. Reach your right arm behind you. Open your arms in opposition. Breath in exalted mountain. Lengthen your legs. Bring your right hand at the belly of your left hamstring. Open your side body. Take an inhale. Exhale, prayer twist. Bend your knees. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Have palm over palm. Starting to access your obliques. You're going to lift your right ribcage up and back. And press your chest towards your thumbs. Spiral just a little bit deeper. Take an inhale. Exhale, side crow. So side crow is our foundation for Ekapada Kundanyasana 1. Bring your hands beside your body. Bend your elbows back. You're going to rest your right thigh on top of your left tricep. Find your chaturanga stance. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Hug your inner thighs. Lengthen the crown of your head forward. Take a breath in. And exhale. Come to tuck and curl. Just for a moment. Ground down wherever it is that you land. It is exactly where you need to be. Breath in. Send your gaze up. Exhale. Bring your chin in. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Mountain pose. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale. Cactus twist to your right. Keep your hips squared forward. Hug your arm muscles into your arm bones. Breath in, high lunge. Bend your right knee forward. Step your left leg back. Bring your lower rib cage in. Hug the tricep line of your arms in. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve lunge. You're going to bring your left elbow outside of your knee. Similar as in prayer twist. Again, staying steady at your pelvis with the squeeze of your inner thighs. Lift high through your back heel. Inhale, high lunge with the open arm twist. Reach in opposition. Exhale, warrior two. Ground down through your back foot. Externally, rotate your right thigh. Bring your right knee closer to the outer edge of your foot. Take a breath in. Reverse triangle. Straighten your right leg. Bump your right hip forward. Open your right side body. Deep breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Frame your right foot with your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Send your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon on your right. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist. And before we move anywhere, I want you to square your torso forward. Prop your chest up high. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower your pigeon. So noticing what's happening specifically in your hips right now. Your left hip interior, your front left hip muscles are stretching. But now in your outer right hip, you're accessing, accessing your lateral hip muscles, your glute muscles, giving them a gentle stretch with your body weight. So just allow gravity to do its work. Let go of your neck. Let go of your head. And stay with the rhythm, the cadence of breath. <sighs> Inhale, press up into your hands. Exhale, scorpion dog. Start by entering through three-legged dog, then bend your right knee, open your right hip. And you can kind of like gaze under your right armpit as you squeeze your heel in towards your glute. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Make it to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Good, can't toss them. Exhale, chair with open arm twist. Reach your left arm back. Keep your hips and your knees squared forward. Inhale, exalted mountain. Lengthen your legs. Reach long with your right hand. Open your right side body. Breath in. Exhale, prayer twist. Bring your right elbow outside of your left knee. Hand over hand. Now, find the spiral. As you draw your belly in, use the pressure of your right elbow against your knee. 
to spiral just a little bit deeper from your waist. You're spiraling your rib cage at the axis of your thoracic spine, your middle back. Breath in, exhale, side crow. So bring your hands beside your body. Again, shoulder width distance. Rotate your biceps forward so you can bend your elbows back. You can step your feet a little bit out. And slowly as you transfer your weight into your hands, squeeze your inner thighs, gaze down and forward, take a breath in, and exhale, tuck and curl. You're doing fantastic. Take a moment, come back to the cadence of your breath. Inhale, send your gaze up. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Extend long through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, cactus twist to your left. And finding that rotation at your waist. Inhale, high lunge. Step your left foot forward, your right leg back. Maintain the squeeze through your inner thighs. Stay active in your glutes. Lengthen your arms. Breath in. Exhale, revolve lunge. Bring your right elbow outside of your knee. Peel your belly away from your left thigh. Stay tall through your back heel. Inhale, high lunge with open arm twist. Find the up position through your arms. Make you gaze up and over your left shoulder. Breath in. Warrior two. We're back. Stay here. Deepen the bend on your left knee. Maintain the squeeze in your glutes. Open through your chest. Breath in. Reverse triangle. Lengthen your left side body. Exhale. Low lunge. Frame your left foot with your hands. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Send your left leg up. Exhale. Half pigeon on the other side. You can use your hands by your hips to find that rotation of your torso forward. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Lower all the way down. Hmm. Let go of your neck, let go of your head. You can also let go of any holding in your belly. Just want you to focus and rest your awareness and your body weight and how it's working in your hip muscles, how it's lengthening, stretching your hip muscles. Steady with breath. And take a deep breath in, press your chest up. Exhale, scorpion dog. Reach your left leg back. Open your left hip. Squeeze your heel towards your glute. Send your left knee high. Breath in, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward-facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come down and take a seat. So hopefully by now, your body is warm. Your shoulders, your arms are strong. Your hips are open. And we're also, we've worked a lot on our obese. So now to ground down on Ekapada Kundanyasana 1. As I mentioned before, the transition into it to enter, the foundation is side crow. So let's ground down into our side crow. I'm going to start facing towards the right. So bring your hands outside of your right side. A little redundant, but perfectly fine. Now bend your elbows back. Step your feet gently out. Hug your arms in. As you ground your right thigh on top of your left tricep, send the crown of your head forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, you're going to lengthen your right leg forward, crossing it across your body. Send your left leg back. Keep your shoulders above of your elbows. Breath in. And exhale, hug your legs back to your side crow. And slowly press yourself back down. Let's try it on the other side. Bring your hands towards the left. Bend your elbows. Walk your feet a little bit out. Squeeze your inner thighs. Find your side crow. Find your flight. Stay with me. Breath in. Exhale. Send your left leg forward. Right leg back. Squeeze into your glutes. Lengthen the back of your leg. Breath in. And exhale. Hug it in. And press yourself back. And come meet your come meet me in a little easy seat. Oh, let's ground down. You can pause, you can rewind, you can take it step by step. It's the beauty of doing this practice in video. But for now, come ground down. Once you're done with your Egapada Kundanyasana one practice, and find your center. Plug down through your sit bones, find length in your spine, soften your hands on top of your knees. 
breathe at your natural speed. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Interlace your fingers. Find circles in your wrists to one side, to the other. It's so important where you're practicing arm balances that you care for your wrist. So take them here and shake them out. Meet me in half lotus with your right foot on top of your left thigh. Hmm. Reach your right arm behind you and see option one. If you can grab for your right foot, option two, you can just hook your right hand at the crease of your left hip. Place your left hand on top of your right knee. Take an inhale and exhale, twist towards your right. Gaze up and over your right shoulder. Stay rooted through your sit bones. Breath in. And exhale, come to center. Let's do it on the other side. Half lotus with your left foot on top of your right thigh. Swim your left arm behind you. Bring your left hand to either grab for your foot or at the crease of your right hip. Place your right hand on top of your left knee. Take a breath in. And exhale, twist. <sighs> Stay long in your spine. Steady in your breath. Take a breath in and exhale. Come to center and transition onto your belly. Keep your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, low cobra. Again, you float your chest. Here you float your hands. Squeeze your triceps in. Take one more sip of air. Exhale. Lower down. Soften your left ear on your mat. Have your toes in, your heels out. Bring your chin back to center. You're going to rotate your palms down. Open your feet to hip width distance. Breath in, locust post. Open your arms and your legs as you float them up. Squeeze your glutes, your inner thighs. Lengthen the back of your neck. Breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down. Soften your right ear on your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, flip yourself onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Come to rock your spine side to side. Breath in. Exhale, happy baby. Rub for the outer edges of your feet. Draw your thighs into your chest. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And with your peace fingers, grab for your big toes. Breath in. And exhale, lengthen your legs. Can be one at a time, can be both at the same time. Just one last back line of your leg stretch. Breath in, exhale, draw your knees to your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, plug your forehead to your knee. Breath in, exhale, final resting pose, Shavasana. Extend your arms and your leg. And we're going to stay here just for a few rounds of breath to process, to digest this short vinyasa-inspired practice. And slowly begin to welcome movements back to your body. You can wiggle your toes and your fingers. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. And exhale, come roll all the way up to an easy seat. Fold your hands in front of your heart. Press your thumbs against your sternum. Embrace your tall spine. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. And thank you. Friends, it is an honor to share this practice with all of you. I hope that you wholeheartedly enjoy it. Save it for later if you want to keep practicing your Egopada Kundanyasana one-arm balance. I will see you next time. My name is Adriana Naomi. Thank you again.